he was leaning against it. Good morning, how are we this morning? Are we all good? Uh, lovely to be here again. And uh, hang on, let me see if I can find us. Ah, oh, there we are. It's Tilda Tuesday, everybody. Woohoo! Um, because Arthur, wait, I don't know I'm talking to him, he's deaf as a post. Stop it, go in a bloot out there. Go on. Um, studio dog, what can I say? Uh, so, 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 um, yeah, Tilda Tuesday. We haven't had any Tilda on the show for a long, long time. Uh, for the simple reason that um so much fabric was assigned to the quilt that Jane wanted to make that we had on on Friday that I didn't dare touch anything else just in case just in case um so we have yeah there hasn't been um a lot of tilde go I can move those out of the way can't I did those yesterday uh we haven't had a lot of tilde going on but <laughs> I plan on making up for that today um the book that I'm going to make, we're going to make a quilt. Um, I want to show you, um, I'm very, I'm always very aware um, about what those of you have already bought from me. So I want you to be able to utilize that. It's not always about buy, buy, buy. I mean, it's lovely when you do, don't get me wrong, it pays the bills. Um, but also, let's use what you have in your stash. Yes, let's add to it. But let's also use what you have there. Now you might have Tilda's toy box, which is the book, which is gorgeous, which is hiding under here. Um, just stick a triangle in there. And this is this is the book, and this is uh, where today's makes are coming from. Uh, the quilt pattern and everything in there is coming from this today. And um, from that book, we have also in the past made this cushion. We've made this little chap here, the whale. It's having a whale of a time. Basically, I just had to go and um, go through Emily's bedroom. And then one of the many monkeys that we've made, the pattern for the monkey is in the book. And there's his little friend there. Um, so all of this is in the book, plus there are several quilt instructions, there's loads more. And if you love making her toys as well, uh, what she also has in this book are her little chunky people rather than the skinny people. Let me show you what I mean. Whoop, there. Those people as opposed to the long skinny ones that you also get. Um, so the book is really beautiful and uh, beautifully laid out lots of gorgeous goodies in there so if you've already got this go and get it out and if you want some of the tilde toy fabric or doll fabric to make these little chaps i've got that in bundles of either fat quarters or half meters and i've got it in like a fleshy tone and i've got it also in um, in uh, I think it's the stone so that you can also make the animals there are the whales in various sizes that's the little one that I made there so you can have a big one too and various fish and nautical things and what a lovely way to use up your, your scraps make a sail and then parrots and there's your monkey with your instructions and everything else so they can have many a monkey yeah um, and then this is well that's that's the snake and this is called the snake quilt so for the snake quilt which is the one that we're going to look at today it is here and we're going to do it in the bon voyage colors so there that is. But of course the beautiful thing about Tilda is that you can mix and match stuff in. And there it is. So for those of you that have a Stripology ruler, for those of you that love Tilda, for those of you that want an easy quilt to make, that's what we're looking at here, is a nice easy quilt to make that looks stunning, showcases your fabric and is really rather gorgeous and actually not all that expensive. This is the one. This is the one. And then you get all your patterns and everything are in the back there. So it really is a lovely book. 
let me pop my uh, bookmark in there. Um, and like I say, out of it, we have made various, various things. Um, and so you can really, you can really go to town with whatever you wish. Uh, so I know that we did a quilt the other day, but I figure you can never have, you know, too many quilts in your life. And also it utilizes a few of your creative grids rulers as well. So if you're sitting at home with these rulers and you haven't used them yet, uh, and you need an excuse to, you know, strip, um, then whip out your stripology ruler and ladies and gents let's get stripping it's as simple as that um, also on today's show just so that you know because i know that a lot of you are always asking for the tilda plain fabrics um, then i've got a bundle of the warm sand and the lilac i've got a bolt of each of those so they're going as a duo for you just to add into your stash and again it just works throughout um, the warm sand actually goes really beautifully with all of the Bon Voyage. It's just gorgeous. Um, and again, try it against your Tilda fabrics because you'll find those tones in so many of them. Uh, Tilda sort of sticks to... to um, to colorways that she likes because she works very hard to get the colors that she likes and then she sticks with it so you can work things through so for example the lilac here you'll see is you can see is also in the roses in there can you see there there it's through there and so you'll find you'll find little bits so it's in there you you find you find it and tonally it just works so beautifully um, that it's all in there so if I know that some of you are building up your stash because the tilde toners are often quite difficult to come by really hard in some cases for this quilt I will be completely honest and say I couldn't get any more of the dove white for this quilt so the half meter of cream um, or ivory rather that's in it um, had to come from somewhere else normally I like to keep the same manufacturers um, quality cotton with it so I've tried to match it as best I can but it isn't an exact match it just it's out of stock and they keep saying it's going to be in stock and then that date gets pushed back and, and it's just virus virus related damn it virus related um back in stock though what i do have are the backing fabrics so if you these are 108 inches wide you can buy them by the half meter um in fact i did Gosh, they're all at the post office at the moment. I did a market tote bag, which is made using just half a meter of extra wide backing fabric, which is great. And I use mine all the time to take all the posts down to the post office. It's really roomy, it's really, really useful. So that's your blue, that's your teal, and this is the pink. And it's 108 inches, so that's 270 centimeters wide. So actually, that will do you quite a few quilts um, so either cut it and you know put it together or um, just get the length that you need you're going to have a lot of off cuts to then put on the back of pillows and cushions and things like that it's a really beautiful really handy fabric to have um, so i would pop a bit of that in your basket that should be with me it was ordered yesterday so it should be here by the end of the week start of next latest so there are a few things that are taking a little longer to get here um, Things like the lint magnet was meant to be here last month and then it got delayed. Um, the American side, it was coming on the boat, so it was always going to take a little while, but it got delayed. So there are just odd things that we haven't expected there to be de a delay on that have been. So apologies if one of your items is that, but I keep, I've got a whole folder there of every single order. And when, when the whole day's worth of orders have been completed, it goes in the other side so until those order sheets are complete they stay they stay on one side of the folder it's all very technical I used to do it on the computer but I'm really not tech savvy I need to see paper um, 
and then anybody can dip in and see it uh, that's that's you know helping so um not that you needed to know any of that any of that at all uh, but it seems to be what takes up a lot of my time uh but, 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 but what else was i going to say oh, 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 oh we're going to use the quilt wall today now this is uh something that i absolutely love it's the k facet quilt wall and um it's like a a fleecy type fabric fuzzy felt that's what it reminds me of. Do you remember fuzzy felts when we were little? Who had fuzzy felts? And um, yeah, so it's a bit like that. So when you do your blocks, you can organize them, you can rearrange them, you can pop them up on there. Now, previous to today, this has only ever been available in a very beautiful little package with a picture of Cafe on the front. Um, 44 four inches by 60 inches so that's a meter and a half by the 44 inch width which has been great lovely great what I've done is I've managed to get hold of the entire bolt <laughs> yeah that's being shipped as of today so again there will be a delay on that uh, going out but what it means is that if you want a bigger quilt wall then because this is a meter and a half here but if you wanted to say by I don't know three meters and then put another one next to it so the same size and just sew down sew a seam down the middle then you've got a massive quilt wall then to deal with um, or if you just want like a two meter one or whatever basically I'm going to sell it by the meter so um, it's up to you then how much of it you would like uh, and that is on the website as we speak but that's the first time that has ever been the case um, so I hope that's I, I kind of listened to feedback and and that was how it took a little bit of sourcing but I got there in the end um, but, but, but who do we have this morning who's here Gemma you're up bright and early good morning to you and Lisa and Alan hello and Anne as well and Julia good morning good morning and Linda and Debbie good morning and Lisa she's good morning Sasha I'm making more face masks today um, Inga said that the government looked like they're gonna make it mandatory now in shops to wear them so um, we have now sold out of the face mask um, creative grids they are on order creative grids have run out of creative grid face masks uh, templates so they are they are now in the process of ordering them but those ones for some reason are made in America so they have to get shipped over too um, Jim says the whale is back we're having a whale of a time that's why Jim there you go and I won't use that joke. Well, I probably will use that joke again. Um, Helen's watching. Good morning. Good morning. Um, and we're still giggling from your husband's email, by the way. Um, snowflakes absolutely killed us. Absolutely killed us. Um, Debbie's here. Eliza Jane, hello from a sunny Exeter. And Pamela as well. And Joanne, hello, hello. Looking forward to till the Tuesday. I don't normally make quilts. I normally leave it to the experts. But this is one even I can manage. I normally can manage a cushion. That, you know, I can, I can manage to, to keep my attention for a cushion uh, or two. But actually, with the bundle that I've put together for you, you've got enough to make the quilt, which is 40... I want to say 42 inches by 71, something like that. It's in the book, I'll check it. So it's quite a, a good size one. And you've got enough to make a cushion as well. Nice. Uh, hello, Maureen. Hello, hello. And Jennifer and Vanessa. Hello. And Kathleen and Syl. Good morning to all of you. Lovely to have you. Um, oh, Helen's odour coating today. The serious business of odour coating. What are you making? Uh, and Pam's there, good morning, and Heather, hello, and Belinda and Ali, hello, hello. Um, very good to have all your company, and Sally and Sue as well. Thank you very much. Ooh, Sue collected her parcel this morning, and you love the small clips. They're great, aren't they? Really great. So, good morning. Yeah. Um, Fiona says, ooh, Tilda, making a baby quilt from her website, but little toys will be needed. Family baby on the way. Yeah oh there's nothing better Emily loves these and I, can I recommend monkeys for small people because the and actually any of the Tilda toys because the arms are very small hand friendly 
you can imagine this just gets dragged around and yet they are robust as the, we've only got one monkey on the show today for the simple reason that the other one is in the wash after um yeah i'm just gonna say a situation with one of the dogs no, it, what am I saying? It wasn't one of the dogs. It was both of them. It was Margot and Maud, had the monkey, by an arm each, ragging it round the garden. So uh, it's had to go in the wash. Yeah, they all love the monkey. See, everyone loves the monkey. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, you see, Sally Ann loves, loves children as well. You see, lady of good taste, Sally Ann, absolutely. Um, Oh, Ginny, good morning from a beautiful Pit and Weem. I'm going to have to come to Pit and Weem one day because it sounds gorgeous. Oh, I got it the wrong way around. Sozem. I knew there was a 71 in there. I knew there was a one in there somewhere. It's 48 inches by 71. How many times have we discussed that this morning? I still can get it right. Uh, Belinda's there and Mary's there and Stella there. Hello. Um, oh, Lisa. Sometimes I wonder if I should just read these messages to myself before I read them out but especially when they start I dubiously bought oh no what, oh. I dubiously bought the creative stripology extra large a lot of money for me it's a lot of money for any of us um, but uh, it is amazing and has saved me so much time and helped the accuracy in my cutting. Highly recommend it. Thank you so much. Um, Lisa, you are so welcome and thank you so much for taking the plunge. And I get it. I really get it because, um, yeah, I, I had to save for mine. Yeah. Um, not this one, but my original one I had to save for before I before I had Natasha makes now that is obviously essential and goes against tax uh, but <laughs> it's always a right, right, perks of the job um, and um, but no I did I had to save up for for my one and for the sake of 10 pounds or whatever the difference is I was like do I want the stripology squared or the extra large and at that point I was um, <laughs> heavily into stripping again my husband would be thrilled, clearly. Not that sort of stripping, darling. This sort of stripping. Um, and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I thought I would get the extra width. And now the Stripology XL um, is a lovely great size and has the squared feature that the smaller one has. So it's basically a matter of how much space you've got as to which one you go for. Um, but they are awesome. Um, Ali said that she had laptop issues. But that's all right. Good morning. Good morning. Glad that you've loved us. Uh, loved us. Joined us. And love Tilda. That's it. I was, I was reading Michelle's message that said, love, love, love Tilda. So I've just made you love us, Ali. Uh, so sorry about that. <laughs> um, Sonia says, it's a great morning for Tilda Fabrics. And thank you for introducing Creative Grids into my life. It's the best tools ever. I've started a collection. Sonia, you are not alone. You want to talk to Geraldine about, about that. I reckon though. Oh, and April, love fuzzy felts. Did they have them in Australia? I didn't know if it was like a worldwide phenomenon or if it was just just in the UK. So Australia, um, Australian April watches in uh, in Australia. And we had a conversation the other day about you, April, because we weren't sure if you minded us calling you Australian April all the time. Um, it's kind of stuck. <laughs> so maybe she'll grow to love it. Um, but I quite enjoy the alliteration. Uh, Claire's late, done a load of admin, writing down mask orders. You are a mask machine woman. Um, and Elizabeth, sorry I'm late, Mr. Dash, a medical appointment. Are they sorting out your meds? Are you getting, are you getting some, something stronger? Because you looked in pain the other day, my darling. That's not okay. Really not okay. Right, I'm going to put, um, anyway, thank you for joining us. I'm going to put the phone there, so high tech, uh, so that I can see everybody. Um, 14 messages and 44 masks overnight. Claire, did you make 44 masks? Or have, you, have you had demands for 44 masks? And did you manage to get the uh, creative grid thing? Because that would save you a lot of time, effort and energy. Um, oh, 
Gemma loves a whale related pun. I'm glad you are in the right place. Um, and when my, to the extent that whenever my son sees a whale, he says, mommy, we're having a whale of a time too. Uh, so, you know, I've passed that on for future generations of whale loving. Uh, Nikki's watching in between meetings. Good on you. Are you working from home still then? I'm going to take that as a yes. I'm going to put that there until it gets in the way. Um, I love that. I really love that. Can I just have a moment? Because this was one of those things that I started on a show and didn't get to finish. And then I thought, I'll just try a bit of satin stitch. And I use, I use these things, once they've been on the show, I often use them just to up my skills as well. Because I don't regularly get to do satin stitch around a plique. So actually this was really, this was really lovely. And actually feeling it, I can feel that this was done with Bondaweb. This is, this is pre Mistifuse days. Oh, my world has changed. Um, and so, yeah, I can see all of I can see all of my little errors. It's not smooth going around the heart, but it doesn't matter. I still love it. Um, so I'm going to pop that there. There we go. Uh, anybody else? Um, that's it. Deal done. Making Tilda baby quilt need matching Tilda monkey. You do, Fiona. Yes, you do. You know you need a matching Tilda monkey in your life. Um, right, I've got some creative grids to play with today. They are not... Look at me. Uh, they are not essential. Oh, that's where my earrings went. Oh, I've put them in now. Oh, no, hang on. I've got a big necklace on. Don't need earrings. Right, put them to one side. Um, that's the rule, isn't it? If you have a big necklace, then you have big earrings as well. Or it's put all the jewellery that you like on and then take a piece off. I think if it's earrings, you have to take both of them off first. You look a bit weird. Or like you just go around the corner. Um, that's what happens in my head anyway. Uh, I am so excited for you, Fiona. And, 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 I keep meaning to load them up onto the website. I've also got some beautiful baby quilts. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, which I must load for you as well. Because you are not alone. And, um... Let's just say they are they are predicting a baby boom, aren't they, after lockdown? Hmm. Uh, to the extent that the government are already looking at um, how schools will cope going forward with the extra children. Um, oh, look! I thought you'd all be pleased to know that after yesterday's... Um, yeah, I managed to actually put that on the right way round <laughs> after we came off it. And look, then I made another one. I just got so excited. I made another one after yesterday because what I've done... I do you know what? I love these. These are probably one of the most favourite things of all my patterns that I've ever made. And I've turned the pattern from yesterday into... I've changed it a bit so that it's given you the instructions to how to make the pattern and how to make it any size. Because, uh, Ali, I think this was your idea. Um, you said they'd be great for keeping your masks in. Well, yes, they really would, wouldn't they? So I thought, well, maybe you just want a little one to then pop it in your handbag and have a spare or just keep it out of the way of everything else. And that would be brilliant. And that started off as a nine inch square, but would be absolutely perfect. Um, you just keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger, don't you? Yeah. Uh, and that was, so I ended up out of my bundle yesterday, I made two this size and a nine inch and had enough fabric to have made another nine inch so I could have made two sets. Anyway, we digress because that was yesterday's show but if you haven't watched it, watch it back. Um, I had a nice time. <laughs> I had a nice time anyway. Right, uh, I needed this this morning. I decided, because I was cutting lots of strips, I decided to um, switch over onto um, a quarter of an inch foot that had a guide because it was early, it was really early this morning when I started and I was a little bit snoozy. So I just thought, um, I just need all the help I can get and that quarter of an inch guide. You know the one that looks a bit like a paddle um, or a rudder rather, I, I put that one on. Um, and then of course didn't realize that I didn't need it on the quarter of an inch. So instantly snapped the brand new needle I had put in and then had to go in and retrieve it. I was very grateful for the little handy magnet because that went and got stuff out. Hooray! Oh, it's all been going on this morning. Uh, and then the printer repairman turned up. 
no idea he was coming uh, but very nice to see him um anyway today 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 what are we doing today and what ah aha here we are uh so i guess i should have shown you everything that you're getting you are going to get in your kit um the instructions for the quilt mean that you need 14. Well, actually, she re she uses some of the fabrics twice. No repeats here, let me tell you. No repeats here. Uh, because we don't need to. Um, we have 14 different Tilda fabrics in our armoury. Um, so that's what we're going to use, quite frankly, because we can. So we're going to. And um, you basically have to cut them into strips, which I'll show you in a minute, and sew them together in various different widths. Hence the uh, need for a stripology ruler you don't have to but you wouldn't have got most of a quilt made in two hours this morning that's for sure so that's one lot of fabrics and then this is the other lot so basically all you do is get your fabrics and i'll show you oh i'll just show you what i did Um, so out of all of the fabrics, all of these seven, so you split them into two lots of seven, out of all of these, you get a long quarter of every single one apart from this one. Now, when you read the sizes that you need for this, um, it ends up being 88 inches worth that you need, which cut in half is 44 inches, which should theoretically be the width of your fabric. But we all know that there's selvage that we don't want to use, so you take off an inch or so for that. Um, and then you need a third strip. So I've added in, I've been really generous with the fabric, and I've added in an extra five inches to cover that. Um, so that one you get instead of your 10 inches, I work in inches, so instead of 10 inches, which is effectively a long quarter, actually it's a little bit bigger than a long quarter, but because I work in inches, it's, you win. Um, so I've gone for 15 inches, so you'll have loads left over. So the fabric that you have left over will, um, is, is here, and you will do your, you can do a scrappy binding, for your quilts and also you will be making the little triangular border um, and we're gonna we're gonna touch on that because I have a cunning plan for that uh, so you get 15 inches width of that obviously the full width of the fabric and that one and also this one here which is the tiles oh, I, love, I just love these fabrics they're just simply stunning so this is a different colorway to the one that's in the book don't think it matters. I don't think it matters. Um, oh, Jackie has the book and can't wait to make something from it. But today, buying the prim iron after the large one spurted something brown and horrible on my newly made weather chart. Ooh, yeah. I think the pressing mat might be a good idea too. I think you're right. I couldn't agree more. Uh, so, what I have gone ahead and done is... Um, sewn these because let's face it cutting strips is going to be a bit boring for you to watch mm. in the nicest possible way and I've cut two of those of each colorway that's oh that's that colorway so that's the other colorway lots and lots and lots of cutting has been done um so the first thing that I would do the only thing that I've kind of decided for you is which fabric to do the three and a half inch strip. So when you get your kit, just look for the one that is slightly wider than all of the others. And that's the one for your three and a half inch strip. Um, and then all of the others you can choose and you can you can choose so it's seven for each of these different colorways and all i did was i laid them out um show you 
um, I laid them out, got my sticky labels out and was like, right, put them in order. So I tended to, because I really love these prints and I really love the, um, the design on them, the larger the strip, oh, that's all I had left of that one, the larger the strip, oh, no, no, no. Uh, the larger the strip, the um, larger the design. That was my personal preference and that was what I decided to do so that I would get to see more of it because I really like some of the bigger prints. And um, so I laid out all, imagine these all laid out. These are all my, um, all my uh, long quarters and then I labelled them. And I labelled them either A or B as to um, whether or not they were for the A's or the B's. And then um, I wrote on my sticky label what width I needed to cut it to. So for example, this one here, uh, 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 this one is B, two and a half. So I knew when I got this fabric under my stripology, I needed to cut it at two and a half inches. And then you can see this was B, three. So that was fine. I knew that I needed to cut three inches from that. So that was how I organized myself. And then I lay them out in order, like I have done here. And then I took a photo. Um, because things can get jiggled around. So you have an option. You can either take a photo or you can go right. Let's put it on Whee! my design wall so that I know what it's going to look like and I know what I am taking off at what point. Now when um, Kay from Brandon designed the the quilt wall, they um, they did it with a grey background because white was too stark and would just take away. So they did it with a grey because grey just merges. I don't know if you know, I, I know a lot of you do, I'm probably teaching grandmother to suck eggs here, but if you want your thread to just disappear and not be the main, main focal point, use a grey or a neutral or something like that rather than a white um, or a dark colour because it will just, will just disappear. So, uh, you know, you can pop them up here if there's not enough room on your desk or whatever. And if you sew in your spare bedroom or anything like that, if you've got a wardrobe in there um, with boxes on top, this is just pegged down um, with all the storage boxes <clears throat> on top there. That's all it is. Uh, that's all I've done. And so you kind of get the idea. You can, you can order yourself before you even begin and then you know. It is like fuzzy felt, isn't it? It's fab. That that's the order and you can take a step back um, and you can see, you know, if you like the colourways that you've chosen, uh, if you're happy with what you've done. Go away and think about what you've done. Um, there you go. So that is, that's my first strip. Actually, that's my second one, isn't it? Because it was B. Um, and then you choose your other colours and then you start to sew them together. Now I've done, how much of this have I done? Oh, quite a bit of it. So for example, this one is part sewn. Needs pressing, doesn't it? Ooh. Like so. And then the bird vine on the end. I love the bird vine. And so when I was making, it just it went 
basically like this. Sew two strips together with a quarter of an inch seam, come to your pressing mat and press. Um, so just enough to set the seam and then push back. And this is where the mini iron, uh, where having uh, the pressing mat right there is just so handy. Um, I was asked by one of my distributors the other day, they're like, oh, can I interest you in a wool mat pressing mat? I was like, no, I have a far better one than your, than your ones, which, you know, aren't malleable. I mean, if I wanted to use this with dressmaking, and there will be more dressmaking uh, coming soon, uh, is all I'm going to say there. Um, and one size does not fit all, so don't you worry um, on that front. I've got it sorted. We're working in the background very hard to get that sorted. So yeah, I would press that then away. If you want to best press it, then do. Um, and then each of these strip sets, I would press and then keep laying them out, laying them out, laying them out. Uh, sorry, whale, just pop there for me. So press the seam, set that seam, and then press against. Now, I used to, when, um, when instructions said, and actually they don't in here, but when instructions in the past have said, use a scant, <coughs> excuse me, quarter of an inch, <coughs> then um, normally that would be... Um, that would be the, the cue to sort of mess around with my stitch width and move my needle over a bit. But because I now have the wool pressing mat, this one, uh, like they use on Savile Row, I very, very rarely need to use a scant quarter of an inch because this presses so much better. Uh, because it's going directly onto my wooden surface, uh, then it truly is fab. Now, I'm not using steam on this. Um, <coughs> it doesn't mean that I can't onto here. I, I don't think I would damage that surface. Oh, there's the rest of my needle. Uh, put that in my little magnetic tub there. There we go. Um, yeah, sorry, where was I? Yeah, so I... Um, yeah, I, I don't even find that I need the extra steam. And if now I do want anything like that, I just use my best press. I was wondering the other day, I don't know <clears throat> about it at all, um, whether or not to just put the best press into, because this is a little mini steam iron. So <coughs> I've got a piece of fluff stuck right at the back of my throat. So if you, um, of course it's the one day <coughs> that I don't have a cup of tea in here, isn't it? Um, so um, if you, um, do, 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 where was I? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. If you're someone that uses steam, I don't know if you could just put best press in there. I don't know if it negates everything. Has anybody ever tried it? we're nearly we're nearly done so this has just been this has been really handy i was thinking about this this morning in terms of i've i've created an awful lot of the quilt already just because i've done the strips and if you do the third lot of strips so this is my third lot of strips then actually with all that you've got left over you can make a couple of cushions easy 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 um Now then, let's make sure that I've got all of these the same way as all of the others. So then, for me, it's just a matter of laying them out like that. Now, I was um, demonstrating the other day on behalf of Pam and Nikki Lintot, um, who own the quilt room, and, and they're absolutely gorgeous. And the, the cushion that I was demonstrating on their behalf used strips, uh, two and a half inch strips. And, um, and they made the very good point. So I will reiterate it for you that if you, um, if you sew everything the same way. So if I start on all of these, 
and always start and put those like that and sew down that way and then go to the next and put that together and sew down that way and then do that all the way along <coughs> you can get a bit of a bit of a lilt and they're quite right you absolutely can because like it or not whether it's that your machine isn't quite I was thinking I've, I've given this a lot of thought whether it's that you pull your fabric slightly or your machine does my old uh, my old brother machine used to pull my fabric slightly um, and I always felt like it was going off to the left you know when your car needs rebalancing on the wheels and it just the wheel always it felt a bit like that um, so the way to overcome this and just to overcome uh, the fact that your body might be slightly skewiff it's going to say squiffy but it's a bit early for that um, is 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 to alternate the end of the strip that you start sewing from so I know that on all of these I've started at the top there because I've gone left onto the uh, right onto left and done that so I could go right onto left again but again I would be keeping up that pattern is this making sense so instead I'm going to flip this one onto here which means that now I'm going to start sewing from this end not that end and that will help even up so that I don't get all of my sewing going off that way or that way some will go that way some will go that way and the beautiful thing is they will merge and be gorgeous that's the idea so we'll do that we shall simply do that and I think that by the time you've seen me sew two long strips together you'll be like yeah enough <laughs> we get the idea you just sew strips together it was quite therapeutic and what I realized this morning was actually just how quiet um, this machine is because I didn't wake anybody up. Um, I managed to have a conversation with Emma over the phone at the same time. So um, Emma, who does all my accounts and loads stuff up onto uh, the website and everything, um, part, an integral part of the makes team, uh, team makes, um, <laughs> lives in Switzerland at the moment until next week when she moves is it next weekend or the week after? Week after, isn't it? When she moves back to the UK. Yay! But then I suddenly realised, because of course they're an hour ahead in Switzerland, aren't they? Um, she, she's not going to want to get up <laughs> at the same time to chat to me. She assures me she will, but I'm like, no, you really won't. You will really not want to um, be up at that silly hour. Emma and I are opposites in, in everything. I'm tall and blonde. She's shorter and, cur and uh, dark curly hair. And um, we, like, we're the ones that can share Revels, packet of Revels together because we both like the opposite uh, chocolate in there. And <laughs> it's just, it's always, always absolutely perfect. She always likes all the, all the warm dark tones and I always like all the pastel tones. So even in our fabric choices and our choice of everything, everything, even down to a choice of men, always completely different. So it's always worked absolutely beautifully. Um, but it also means that she's a bit more of a night owl <laughs> and I'm an early bird. So uh, we'll see how that all, wait. all works out. So um, I also chain pieced with this as well. So... Um, just one after the other, through the machine, through the machine, through the machine, uh, so that I had them in pairs and then I could flip them like I'm doing now um, and go the other way. And that just worked for me. Now the beauty about the quilt in the book is that it is, um, what is it? It's a beginner's quilt. Like it, it really is a beginner's quilt and um, the hardest part is probably probably cutting the strips but if you've got something like a stripology ruler it is so much faster and you're going to be accurate i would really invest if you are serious about your quilting i would seriously invest um and yeah i oh 
gosh, I think I said this on her channel, so I, I will say it again here. Because uh, last week I, I did shows for the Quilt Room, which is Pam and Nikki, and I also uh, did shows for Creative Grids over on her channel. And, um, and I suddenly realised, part way through my Creative Grid show, um, because let's face it, I'm not going to go and, and, and endorse something that I don't truly and honestly believe in. I don't have to. There are plenty of things out there. Um, but I suddenly realised that if it wasn't for Creative Grids, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be on a Hochanda demonstrating. Um, <clears throat> I wouldn't be on any of those things. What has made my journey possible has been the fact that creative grids have created and this is why i'm so passionate about endorsing them for you uh, and recommending them as as an aid for your quilting is that they for, they for the first time allowed me to cut accurately safely and it was the safety that was the big one for me um, because any other ruler has just slipped around for me so much that it completely put me off and I didn't want to use them. So I just did toy making and stuff like that where I didn't have to use rulers. But if you're going to quilt, you're going to have to use rulers at some point. So for me, the Stripology ruler was the first creative grid I bought. And then I've bought all the others as I've gone along and, and really got quite the collection now. And it means I've got the right tool for the job. I can cut safely. I can cut accurately. I don't waste fabric. I don't waste my time. I do not have time to waste. Um, and it's thanks to them that I have uh, the confidence in what I do to be able to do what I do. Uh, so that's massive. So Rachel, if you're watching, thank you very much. I don't think that you quite realise what you've what you've done for me uh, with your products and, and what you have enabled uh, me and lots of other people, you know, and um, I demonstrate them here. I demonstrate them at Hochanda. I've done workshops at Stitches at the NEC. I mean, these are big, big things. And um, again, because they are so fantastic. And I, I don't say that lightly. Uh, it's not like, so Natasha makes for those of you that are new to Natasha Makes, this is my channel that I set up with my redundancy money from um, Sewing Quarter. And at Sewing Quarter, it was proper Sally Telly. And, um, and so I didn't have a choice over what came to wear. I was given what I was given and, and you have to like it. Uh, and that, that's what it was. And, you know, I was very lucky. We had lots of great products. But... I, I am dreadful at like I can't lie. If I don't like something, I don't like something. So the beauty of setting up Natasha Makes was that I only have to have the stuff I like. And I only have to... It's really self-indulgent, isn't it? And I only have to make the stuff I like um, and use the stuff that I consider to be good. Because if I don't consider it to be good, I won't sell it to you because there's absolutely no point. So I'm not um, backed by any big companies. I am not, um, I don't have multi-million companies behind me paying for this, that and the other. No, no, no. This is all, all off our own back. And, um, and that is the beauty of the freedom that it gives me, that you can know that anything that I bring to air is because I love it or I know it to be good. And um, and it is, it is, you know, purely my opinion. But I've been lucky enough to have been in the industry long enough that I've also tried a lot of things because you have to. Or, you know, when you've worked in, in shopping television, you know, I've, I've got to try all the other different makes. And this is where I, I stick firmly and I stay firmly for creative grids um, and with the fabrics as well so I think if anybody and again the same with the make of sewing machine and everything else I tried all of the different makes and um, and Juki is is where I stick and where I stay I love them I think they're fab um, <clears throat> and those people 
Okay, so I've played Bobbin Chicken uh, <laughs> and not noticed. So um, for those of you um, who watch regularly, you know this is, this is nothing new. <laughs> I regularly run out of bobbin uh, because, you know, I, this was a brand new bobbin this morning. That's how much sewing I've done. I've sewn an entire bobbin's worth. Let's just do that, shall we? But it doesn't matter. We're having a chat anyway. Um, do you know what I forgot to... Oh, it's even telling me on here that I've run out of bobbin. Well, that's great. I didn't check it, did I? Um, yeah, so that's kind of my story. Because I know that we get lots of new people watching. And they must be like, who is this woman with monkeys? <laughs> monkeys hanging in the background. Talking about her kids and her dogs and her this and her that. Crazy woman. Well, yes. But I'm having a nice time. And... Um, so yeah, that's that's it really. Um, from the background that I've come from, I've I've had I've been really lucky uh, and able to try everything, and then just stick with what I love. Um, the same with the designers. Doesn't mean Sam not discovering new ones. Melissa White, really new to me. I, I think lots of you have heard of her before, but she was new to me, and I'm I'm really enjoying her work at the moment, as you as you've probably noticed uh, on some of the shows, and. Um, yeah, it, it's one of those things, isn't it? But um, it's also meant that I've been able to build up a lovely rapport with the designers that I really rate. So I don't know if um, those of you that are quite new to Natasha Makes, go and have a look on our on our website, natashamakes.com, because and on our YouTube channel as well, again, Natasha Makes, because on there you will find interviews with the likes of Kay Facet and Brandon Mabley and Philip Jacobs. I've got the three from the Kay Facet Collective, but also um, a lady called Tuna Fananga, who is Tilda. She is the woman behind Tilda. And not many people get to interview her at all, which made research so difficult. I normally like to research a lot before <laughs> before I interview anyone so this this caused me a bit of a <gasps> well uh hang on a minute um but she was lovely so lovely so if you fancy knowing a little bit more about the lady behind these designs that we love do go and have a look on the website I don't know if um one of the one of the makes team could possibly pop a link maybe under here as well um, for where we can find that. I know it's on Facebook as well somewhere. But do, if you've got a minute and you just fancy, you know, finding out a little bit more about designers. I was lucky enough. Um, gosh. When was it? Start of the year, wasn't it? Is it the first week in February? Was something like that to to actually go over and and interview her like i say really really rare but she's utterly lovely and i met her and her husband and we talked about dogs um obviously <laughs> and her dash hounds and um which was why when i came back one of the first tilda kits that i put together was the dash hound because I realized how how very very dear to her probably check we're all yeah we're all saying good um her dogs were I can relate to that totally relate to that and so in that vein tomorrow I should probably tell you a bit of what's going on for those of you that have followed over the last few years You'll know that every year, uh, Kay Facet brings out a new book. This year's is divine. I've got my hands on it. And, um, and so, you know, historically, we would do, a, um, we would do an interview. As, as he launched his book. So it would be the first week of August. It would coincide with, uh, with Stitches at the NEC. And I would do an interview with him and then he would go and launch his book there as well and do book signings and all of that. Obviously Stitches isn't on this year. So um, instead what's happening is tomorrow I'm gonna get up early 
uh, shock horror. And um, I'm going to go and see him. Uh, and I'm taking a camera woman with me. The Rebecca's coming with me. So we will get our yearly interview. That will happen. Um, and then at the end of the month, uh, I go away on holiday for a week, would you believe, um, with my uh, with my husband and my family and my brother and his family. So that's going to be absolutely gorgeous. Very excited for that. We're all going over on, um, we're going to France on, a, on Euro Tunnel so that we don't have to like get out and mingle with anyone. Um, so we're actually getting a holiday, which is much, much needed. And so when I'm away, instead of me, just me, um, you will get the launch of CAFE's book and you will get the CAFE interview that you would normally have had. So that will, that will stay and hopefully that will be our yearly thing that we do. Um, which is, I'm really excited about. So yeah, research ahoy for me. Uh, I'm so excited and I get to see his studio. Uh, super, super, super excited, can't wait. So do, uh, anyway, the point was, do have a look on the website and on YouTube and everywhere else um, if you are interested in the designers because um, it's all there. I feel like I'm having a real good chat with, with everyone today or I'm just talking a lot, I don't know. Um, Gemma said, my machine had the shock of its life yesterday. I changed the thread from grey to a colour. It's been dreaded. Uh, it's been dreaded. It's been threaded with grey for months. Gemma, come on, get that colour out. Oh, morning, Martina. Um, Martina has been doing the most beautiful things with, um, with her long arm quilt. In fact, Martina, are you now set up doing your long arm business? Because if you are, I've got some quilts I would love to send your way because I just don't have the time to do all of that. Um, oh, got to pop out for an hour, but joining while getting ready. Uh, if you're still with us, Martina, can you just let me know? Because uh, I will send them your way. Um, I'm happy to, to spread that love. Uh, back from a walk, says Barbara. Short one today, so catching up. I'm making more masks this afternoon. Uh, 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 uh. Who's this? Oh. oh, 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 um, right, so, 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 we have done this, the next step is uh, actually to, so yeah, you do all of your sewing together of all your bits, and then you will have strips, strips, so that's one colourway, and I have actually done all three strips in that, um, but I'm not going to make you sit and watch while I do that. So, hang on, I'm going to concentrate now. I'll go quiet for a minute now. And to be honest, like just a strip quilt like this, gorgeous. Nothing wrong in that at all. Um, right. Is that that one or that one? Oh man, did I say that around the wrong way? Yes, I have, because I was chatting and I've sewn it on the wrong way. Doesn't matter, we'll pop that, well, still use it, there we go. This is why I have to be so organised and not chat at the same time. So, um, let's get out the instructions. So, it's quite straightforward and um, I don't think anybody's going to notice that I've sewn that wrong. Uh, let's have a look. So you will need 16 of each of these blocks. Now these are going to be five and a half inches wide. So that is the next thing to do. So let's pop that and that and that to one side. And let's get this here. And this is why we have our stripology rulers. So what I'm going to do is fold that along a seam line. Let me move all of these out of the way. I don't need those yet. Fold it on one of the seam lines. Uh, 
And when I'm lining up my stripology ruler, what I want to do is line up one of these lines along here, along that top seam uh, where I've where I've folded it. I will cut off um, the selvage here. So this bit here comes off straight away. Gone. Because look, that's just yucky little bits. Don't want all that. Uh, that will go to stuff a dog's bed somewhere. Now, five and a half inches. So five and a half inches, blade goes in, strip is cut. So then that means I need five and a half, 11, uh, ba -ba -ba would be 16 and a half would be the next one. So already we're going to start piling these up. One, two, three. Um, and uh, you know just get we'll get some of these going shall we and um see what they look like and again just out of habit whenever i line up and cut afresh i will always cut off that end bit so five and a half eleven sixteen and a half and i'm gonna get off each strip One, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, I'll get off seven, which is why we then needed to have the third strip of all of these. Um, so again, lining up along that seam line there. I'm gonna take off, because just in moving it, you've rearranged your fabrics. Five and a half, yeah, you see, that's not going to, and then that I can use to make something else. Let's put that to one side there. And what we'll do is we'll start with one from each colorway and see how we go. So let me get, actually, Oh, I don't need to fold it. What am I thinking? You know what that does, don't you? That speeds everything up. <laughs> yes, it does. Oh, yeah. Because now we will be layering and a cutting, which is fabulous news. I hadn't even thought that it would be. I forget that this, this new ruler is ever so slightly longer than the other. So again, I'm going to take one of the middle lines there um, and I am going to cut off that selvage, line up along one of the middle seams. There we go. Get rid of that selvage. Let's do that there. Five and a half. 11, 16 and a half. And then just, yeah, pile them up. Oh, well, that makes life a bit, bit quicker, doesn't it? Hey? And this, this is why. This is we love our Creative Grids ruler. And it's one of those things that, uh, you save up for or you ask people um, who know you and love you for birthdays uh, and Christmases and stuff like that um, just it buys time five and a half eleven sixteen and a half And for me, buying time is so very important. But, I mean, just look how fast all of those have now been cut. <laughs> it really is just fantastic. And again... 
here we go, and that goes to there. So I've got now uh, two different piles. Uh, do you know what? I hate leaving things half done. <laughs> I, I am just going to have to cut uh, the other ones now. So I've got them. Saws everyone. But this really does just show you how fast this can be done. So I'm lining up those edges. And again, these won't necessarily um, be exactly the same width. So I'm just not worrying. Taking off that selvage, lining up on one of the middle seam lines there. Taking off that end. And then five and a half, 11, 16 and a half. Uh, you'd still be spinning all your fabric around with a normal ruler, wouldn't you, at this rate? Let's be honest. Um, we would be. We just, we would be. Um, and that would be, that would be the end of that, really. Um, yeah. So it's, I know, in the business we call it, a considered purchase. And I know it is. I know it is. I'm not, you know, I live in the real world. But if you can save up a bit of birthday, a bit of Christmas, then honestly, so totally worthwhile having one. Again, I always take off that edge just, just in case. Nothing is slipping. I've got my hand on there. There's not lots of stress, pressure, or anything else. Um, yeah, I think anyone who has ever scared themselves using a rotary cutter uh, will really appreciate using one of these. But like I say, get the one that is right for your for your size of house as well. You know, if you only work on a little cutting board, don't go and get the, you know, the XL. Go for the Stripology Squared instead. You still get all of the features in terms of um, the stars every one and a half inches. So that when you're cutting one and a half inch strips, which you do for this quilt, you just put your blade in every time there's a star. For every two and a half inches, you go where there's a square. So those little things, they're all, they're all in there with all of the Stripology rulers. So you are good to go. Okay, so now that we have cut those, let's have a look, shall we, at what it tells us to do next. I'm not very good normally at following other people's instructions, but this I hopefully can manage. Uh, <laughs> she says, oh. uh, So you'll end up with 16 blocks A and 16 blocks B. Start by cutting out the pieces for the patchwork. Well, yes, I have, I have done that. Um, and then, and then, and then. So A and B blocks together as shown in figure B. Where's figure B? Oh, I've done that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and then sew the blocks together in strips of four. Alternate strips. Start with an A and a block and C, figure C. Right. So uh, let me show you where we are now at here. So we're now here. And you can see I'm going to start with an A there. Go A, B, A, B. And then I'll start with a B. And go B, A, B, A, and then A, B. So I'm going to alternate as I go. Okay. And that will give me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight strips. Now, if you had only done two sets of strips, then actually that's fine as well. Um, you just make, wouldn't do that bottom row. Take that out. Easy. So it's entire, and then you'd have loads of fabric left over just to add into your stash to do with, well, whatever you want, really. Um, and so this is really, when something like the quilt wool would come in, uh, because I've now got to decide which is my A and which is my B. 
Um, let's get all these around the right way. That and then that. Gosh, there are a lot, aren't there? And also, obviously, the ones that I've cut wrong. <laughs> so I'd go A and B. Then, because it's very easy for me, certainly, to get distracted. Ooh, it's going to be pretty. And then... that one on the end over there hang on monkey soz you're gonna have to move this is where you know i said that i'd got these um on the website by the meter this is where i would be buying more so that i could have more width or spin it around that way um whichever whichever you like But it just means that you can start to see how it's going to go. So if I started with a purple one there, then I am going to go with this one here. Now remember that in between, you're going to have um, you're going to have a strip of cream as well through there um, which I haven't actually read what measurement that is so let me see what measurement the, the cream is oh now interestingly what she's done is spin that as well so when you look at her layout what she's done is spin it so that the eye doesn't look for um, everything to be the same so you can do it that way and then spin it so that this is your narrow one that would have been there it's spun round and that way so that's where laying it all out um, will will really I think really help uh, so I now want one of these and I want it the opposite way there And then one of dunk, 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 one of these. That way. And then one of these. That way. It's going to be gorgeous. Um, and we're going to just sew those in rows. Um, now, I don't know buh, 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 how wide. Uh, buh, 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 buh. There are strips of off-white fabric between the patchwork strips. Yes, there are. Um... I don't know how wide they are. Hang on. You know when you... Yeah, you will need 12 pattern. So let's just say, for example, and I just... You know when you just skim read stuff and you just, you're not taking it in? Uh, let me just pop a quick width. In there, let's say, how, what does it look like it might be? Let's say it's like a two and a half inch strip. It's going to be now. In between, let's check out how gorgeous that is. Oh, yeah. 
That's gorgeous, isn't it? And so you'll just build it up. So when you've done that row, you'll flip it and sew it onto that flip. And so I would just do that then onto your next row so that you get them. Then instead of just rows, you get a row with a strip, row and a strip, row and a strip, and then sew those together, those together, those together. So you build it, build it, build it. Um, and that is what how I would do that now um, I want to also look very quickly at the border now you uh, you get instructions and I'm going to read you the instructions because I want to show you two different ways okay um, in here let me show you um, you have to make 12 patterned, so that's 24 triangles. So I need 12 patterned squares, and you'll make this out of whatever fabric you've got left, uh, left off. 11 off white, so 22 triangles. Um, and then one of the four corner pieces. Okay. Um, now, these are what we're going to be making. And here it says two inches, two inches, and this is a four by four inch square. So let me show you something, right? I cut my four by four inch squares. You know when you put, ah. And, and say I'm gonna get some. Um, I have ordered some of these to go on the website, by the way. That's my four and a half by four and a half inch square. I am going to use my itty bitty and I'm going to line up my edge along there so that I can then cut diagonally. Um, I could, of course, use the new seams gauge that we've got. It's entirely up to you. But if I line up on that 45 degree angle there, then I can go diagonally through and all is good. Now it's asking me to do that twice. So I spin it uh, because then it saves me moving everything and I just will realign, which says having moved everything, um, up onto there. Now here's the thing, so that's that's cut me my four, like she said. I was like, pretty sure I've got a grid that would do that. Pretty sure. And um, so I had a look, and I do, I have two different types. And the first one is this one, which is your Creative Grids non-slip multi-size 45 and 90 degree ruler. So that is your 45 degree, and then that is your 90 degree. Now, as we can see, that is a 90 degree, okay? So all I did was just lay this over the top and go, well, how big is that then? Let's just take a little look and see what that ends up being. Hmm. And it was, let me have a look, have a look, have a look, have a look. Have a look. Uh, if I line, and again, the other thing that I could have lined up with was this ruler here, which is your um, multi-size six inch flying geese and 45 and 90 degree triangle. So it's basically that plus flying geese. So it does everything you can do with that one plus your flying geese. Um, so if you're after one ruler to do lots of things, then go for the flying geese one. Um, but you can use this if you, if you want. Um, and you can cut your strip and you can use you can use this to help you uh, you have that option um, and then the other thing in the book was um, 
to be honest, cutting the squares isn't onerous. Um, but the next one is where I would use a grid because the next instruction is for this one and it says three and a seventh. I think she means three and an eighth. Um, but I wasn't entirely sure. But what helps here is that here it says that from top to bottom, from that middle point there up to that top is going to be two inches. So rather than faff about with three and an eighth or whatever or seven eighths or whatever else it's going to be, what I would do instead is this. Cut myself Now, whether this is out of the, oh gosh, did it have to be out of the pattern? Well, let's do it out of, let's do it out of one of the other fabrics so that I can show you. Uh, let's have a leftover fabric here. De -de -de -de. Just remind me when I come to sew that I flip that leg up. Uh, as you do. Uh, so again, I will just, I want now a two inch strip. Do you remember it said on there that it was going to be two inches tall? So I now want to cut myself a two inch strip. And this honestly is so much quicker. Well, it would be if... It's just one little bit. Did you see my blade just falter? Oh no, they're my paper scissors. That's no good, is it? Um, I've been saying for ages that I really need to change that blade on that rotary cutter. And guess what? I still haven't. And I didn't do the thing that I tell you all to do, which is to check that it's cut through everything before you move it away. Go me. Anyway, that is my two inch strip now i can fold that in half that's fine and i can use either the multi size i can use either my flying goose ruler or i can use this one to quickly and efficiently i'm going to start it on a bit of an angle here cut those for me now Where here we go. I am just gonna line up the bottom there. Cut away and away. I really need a new blade, don't I on this? Come on. Flip it and then cut that way. And this is giving me the correct size that I want. And what it's also doing is cutting off the dog ears. To make them easy to sew with. Can you see that's not a pointed edge, that's a blunt edge because the grid shows me where to line it to cut off that bit. So yes, you can do all of this without any rulers. You absolutely can. This just makes it a bit easier. Just makes it a bit easier. So all I'm saying is it does just make this a little bit easier. So um, use your grid, and then you're just going to sew um, the things that you've the the triangles together. Now that's not the right size though because they've they've got two different sizes. This is a corner piece, um, but to sew them together, 
you'd have one going that way, one going the other. So you would flip them across to sew. So you'd have one in your cream and one in your plain. But look, what you can see is where I cut off, there's that blunt end there. So I know that if I line that up there, I've got it absolutely where I need it to be. The same with there if I flip it over, it's exactly the same. So when I come to put this under my machine, what I know is that if I've got that lined up beautifully there, and again, I would be chain piecing these. What I know is that it's coming off, that stitch is coming off exactly where I want it to, there, so I know I'm accurate there. It started where I needed it to, up there, and if I take it over to here, then what I start to build up is what is going to be a straight border of opposites. Obviously you'll have these in one patterned, one whatever, but it's very easy otherwise with, um, with triangles to not get them at the right angle, but here that's going to be a perfect angle. And then I would next one, next one, and that's how I will build up my border as it goes along. Obviously that would be cream, then your pattern, cream pattern, and you can do all your different patterns from all of the fabrics that you have left because you have plenty left over. Um, but again, having the right tools for the job makes it quicker, makes it more accurate, makes it just less frustrating, really. Um, so yeah, that's, that's, that's what I would say with that. So I hope that's kind of given you an idea. Like I say, this is gonna be 48 inches by 71 inches, and I will finish this. I'm really excited to finish this. I think it's gonna be absolutely gorgeous. Um, and I will show you when I've done it. Um, and then if you want backing fabric, then, um, yeah, do you know what, go for it, go for it. Uh, the backing fabrics for the Tilda, if you want Tilda, Tilda, Tilda ones, and you could just see me, oh, this would be, it would be the pink. It would have to be uh, because you've got that sand color in there that matches that. So that will be what I will back mine in. But actually you could, mm, saying that the sage is also very gorgeous and you do have a lot of the sages in there. You do have that lovely color in there. So it's up to you, isn't it? But then the blues, Oh, decisions, decisions. But these are all on the website. The Tilda stuff is on the website. I've still got some of the Fear dolls um, and I've got the Tilda hair for the dolls as well. So if you are someone that likes to make uh, the Tilda dolls with the Tilda hair, I've got a box full of, sounds right, a box full of hair up there. Um, and I've got the Tilda Fear kits made up. I've got some of the Autumn Bear kits made up. I've also got, hang on, let me show you. You know, I said I had duos. So this is the Tilda doll or toy fabric. It's hard to get hold of. And if you've ever tried to make any of the Tilda animals or toys or dolls out of just normal craft weight cotton, it can be a little bit tricky. Um, and that's why there's this. You want a good quality. You either want to go with um, a proper Tilda plane or a proper Tilda fabric and bearing in mind as well that the new fabrics of this latest collection have got all of the certification to be safe for children as well so if you want to make uh, nightwear and clothes for kids this new the Bon Voyage range is safe for that. Uh, now this is the toy fabric it is a different weight um, it does have a different price point because it's a different weight and it is a different it is a different beast entirely but these are what she suggests 
Um, we have got different skin tones, hair tones, everything else um, in the Fear Doll so that you can find one that you love. Um, and we've also got the Autumn Bear. Now, let me just show you. Gosh, I made these kits up so long ago. But this is the Autumn Bear and this is the kit. So I always print off and put in there the patterns, even though the patterns are readily available um, on Tinternet. I always print them off for you and put them in the pack if you're buying anything like the Fear Doll or the, uh, the Bear. Now, yes, you've got all of that, but I've done him in planes. So uh, this particular one is a stone and spot. So he would be that color and then he's got spotty trousers um, and they've, they've got various different colorways um, in there. So do take a look at those because I think they're really gorgeous. And I know that one of our viewers was looking to make multiples for her grandchildren. And to be honest, your best way would be to buy one of the packs um, and then just buy the fat quarters. So if one fat quarter will do one of these and they're 51 centimeters tall. So they are sizable. Um, so if you've got a two fat quarter pack, then you can make two. And then if you've got fabric, so you could do the shorts out of your offcuts from your, uh, your quilt. Um, and the snake quilt is available online uh, for all of that fabric. Oh my goodness, there's, a lot, there's over four meters of fabric there uh, for under 60 pounds. Um, and then, yeah, or I've got these in a half meter, which would make you four of the toys and then delve into your stash to make the clothes. So that's the most affordable way of doing it. The actual official Tilda kits, I was looking and the cat, I think I've got one of the cat left if you really have a rummage around the website. The cats, the official Tilda ones, and it's exactly the same pattern, exactly the same fabric, but it's just packaged in beautiful Tilda packaging. Um, they retail at nearly 30 pounds. I think these are like 12 99 or 11 99 um, because I want everyone to be able to make stuff and, and really have a go and um, but have a look for for these fabrics on the warehouse on, on the warehouse on the website uh, if you want to have a go at the Tilda toys then like I say and also these are the types of fabrics that you'd use on the face of the monkey and things like that as well so just take a look um, actually I've got as well to add in I'll add up I'm just having a look on the on the wall over there yeah I've also got some of the sand which is a much lighter tone um, and that's nice actually for the monkey faces so I'll see if I can add some flat quarters up of that as well uh, for you so yeah anyway I think that is pretty much pretty much it for today I've got to go and prep for you know certain interview tomorrow but let me check if there are any other questions. Um, <laughs> Pam said, that's why we love your products and demos. Total honesty. Can't be anything. Can't be anything but. Um, yeah, uh, and it, it is one of those things. Um, it's, um, oh, Ali says, I love coming to your house, having a chat and seeing all your goodies. Also love your honesty. Um, yeah, I think you have a brilliant idea going on here. It, it's a blessing and a curse. I am brutally honest. Um, yeah, I am that friend that you only ask. <laughs> Does my bum look good in this? If you if you actually want the honest answer. <laughs> um, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, Martina, she says, you're the best interviewer. All your interviews are amazing. Well, that's not much pressure then, is it? But thank you. Um, I, I'm very lucky that I get to interview the best, you know, I mean, gosh, what an absolute honour. Um, but thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, <laughs> Jane, hi everyone. Tash, if dogs sewing and monkeys make you a crazy lady, then count me in. <laughs> because I love the things that you love too. Do you know what I really love? Just before I go, and I know I keep saying I'm going, but... Um, I love the community that we have here. I love the people that we have here. Um, Inga, who does a lot of my fabric cutting uh, for me because I can't do physically everything anymore. Um, she said to me, in life, you have 
the two percenters um, and she she did this from having a business um, and she actually worked out, you can tell there's a scientist in there can't you, she actually worked out the percentage of people that would complain or be awkward or not pay bills on time or or do whatever and she says I just call them the two percenters and I'm really lucky because I don't think we even have two percenters here um, you know they they just, they just don't stick around it's so lovely so lovely the community that we have here and that's because of you so thank you for just for for sharing your knowledge with us sharing um you know coming on board on mondays and tuesdays and being with us and creating this incredible space where we can where we can be honest and that's the thing and for that honesty to be okay and and that's that's what is allowed here and I really appreciate that. I'm oh, getting all emotional. So I'm going to go. But thank you ever so much. And I will see you next week. Um, I, the goodies have just arrived for next week. Mmm. Gorgeous. Um, yeah, Inga was just unpacking them as I came to wear. Because they arrived. I was like, can you just have a quick look? What's in there? So out came the old craft cutter. Which are back in stock. Um, uh, buh, 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 buh. Yeah. So there we go. Next week's fabric has arrived, which is super exciting. And I will see you next week. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to be interviewing and I will be on Ho Chanda Thursday and Friday this week. So I will see you then as well. Bye bye. Take care. Lots of love.